Hi, 24th of January, Craig here. It is not the morning, it is the evening. Uh, another evening recording. I've had a couple of these, I think, uh, lately. It's just, um, yeah, just a couple of things in the work shift that has required me to um, leave early in the morning. So I'm doing the evening versions instead, but I'm still not missing a day. I am consistent. And uh, even though I have been not recording until the evening, I have been able to get writing done um, of a morning. So I'm still on track for that too. In fact, today, um, early, I, I think I had probably the best session of writing that I have had in um, over a week at least. It, it was just fantastic. The level of background that I was able to create and attach to uh, the protagonist and I mean the, the thing that I wanted to, to get from <laughs> just hearing the crickets here and uh, the sort of ambient noise by the Mooney Mooney Bridge here. Um, it's all very loud, I hope you can hear me okay. Um, but uh, yeah, just, just in, in terms of um, well, I wanted to understand the reason that the characters were doing the things they were, and I knew there had to be a setting event that would trigger their mind uh, to think and want things in a particular way, and those particular ways would end up being the, the novel, but I needed to have the setting event that came first, and I didn't know what it was. Um, and then this morning, I just, it just happened in a really lovely way and I've got this whole scene <laughs> that happened um, that involving both of the protagonists in a very natural way that just explains so much and I think it's a particularly affecting I mean it <laughs> sounds like I'm being a bit boastful but I mean I'm just really happy with it I think it's exactly what it needs to be and um, it just fits in with the tone of the novel very well it, it, it is though a whole other piece of content that I'm going to need to uh, structure across the novel because I've got no current areas um, within which to put it, within the uh, acts, within the chapters that I've got. Um, but this is where a fourth round of editing will allow this to happen in, in that I will, um, I will be able to edit the acts a bit and the scenes and when I'm thin slicing the scenes as well um, just to make sure that I'm putting in these things as, as they need to be um, because there's more there's more things that I'm going to be coming up with um, in a similar manner um, in terms of character background and sort of world current events oh I just triggered let there be light I'm very bright now let's get back to <laughs> looking more at the sky. Um, yes, I mean, once those sort of background elements are, are composed, uh, I'll need to establish where they will come up. And I mean, it's not like a, you know, a whole act needs to be, you know, um, committed to some of these things in, in any way, but there will be scenes that are specifically around the setting event or specifically around particular political considerations that are happening, um, for example. And I don't think any of these will take away from the immediacy of the book, which I want it to be a very immediate, super flat style of um, action on one hand, but I certainly want it to have the, <laughs> the depth. I want the super flat novel to have depth, um, but I want it to be authentic and real and all of those things. So all of this needs to be strategically um, edited into what I've currently got as the um, action plot um, which I was calling outline 2 which I think is a very reasonable um, thing to say that as the action outline and now uh, I'm answering all the questions and doing all the messy um, organic composition of further world building and you know what came before what came after and then um, yeah, we'll sort of go back into the uh, screenplay element of it again for the fourth round in which all of this will be wedded 
together. So um, it's good stuff. I'm going to end it there. I love that sound, but I'm wondering how much of it's being picked up by the microphone here. <laughs> um, so um, you will see me tomorrow morning. Um, and uh, the morning after that, and probably the morning after that for quite a while now because um, I won't have the early morning leave time as much. So um, thanks for watching and I will uh, see you next time.